Yes, indeed. So we have a fascinating match to unfold here Thank at you. the White Hot Thank Circus you, Tavern. We this saw that although Taylor won the right for the darts in his first set, he elected to give into his opponents common for him the psychological trick. He'll want to get away to a very fast start, and Dunbridge has got to perform in these early sets. And even a garter snake covered in Vaseline couldn't get in here. It's heaving. So it's the best of 13 sets. Five legs to a set. Philip Taylor, who hasn't missed a final. And I do love, I do love the order. They're going bananas on the walkout, but they give hush of a cathedral nature on the throw itself. Excellent. Dudbridge, 19 grams, his chosen darts. Previous best was a quarter-final place, but this is the form he's been showing all week. This week, Sid, we've had 318 scores of 180. Last year was only 295 at this stage and 314 at the end. But this could be the 319th. And in that area of consideration, Flash has 13 maximums against Mardell. Taylor only five against Anderson. I'm telling you, this kid is a mustard cutter from the Bristol area. Seeing why on your screen. 125. Dudbridge yeah. is down to the possibility of a two dart finish. He had the throw, he was given the throw. 60. So, what a way to start against the power. 96. With an 11 dart. Ah, I'm telling you, he is. He is a class act. Bristow taught Taylor how to be a killer. This lad's got it in his natural genes. 48. Taylor unable to check, of course, on 201. So Dudbridge will know he will be back. 99. 16s will all certainly 48. be his target. That's right, fat bit first. Then this goes the other way for tops and first blood. Yes. Corner of the bed. I like the look of him. The power has a sheen of sweat on his features. There's not a drop of sweat on young Duddas. So Taylor drops the first leg, but it's a marathon course, and we have got some magical data streak still to come here at the circus this evening. 60. And Marco Pierre White's not here just as a guest of the sponsors. He's pushing, he's pushing designer venison pies. So if you see me with a carrier bag, Dave. We'll make a change for the order of sausage rolls soon. <laughs> what a wonderful week we've had here. It's, it's, it's been nine magical days and just the highlights, I'm thinking of the rebirth of Mark Holden early on, Boosh, he, he was such a character. The brilliant and heartbreak of Cliff, uh, of Chris Mason, the comeback uh, ability of uh, Wayne Mardle, that's the guy who beat uh, Taylor in Ireland, Andy Callaby. Yes, Super Cully went ballistic. Indeed, he was precocious. A song in there somewhere, Sid. Too long to learn. Lovely first dart, lovely stagger. And that's something to keep your eyes on, how close Taylor is to oh, good stack. And he was not very good against Allison last night. Great hush again. See, he's the opposite. He stacks downward, reverse stacking. Oh, he's come out on fire from that practice board. Wow. Has he ever? Grandmaster Flash. Oh, what a cracker this is already cooking up the bay. I bet Marco Pierre is writing down the recipe. 102. 102 for Dudbridge and two zip in the first set. 82 now going. Should be the ball. Would have left 32. 
Well, he, he's in a little bit of trouble now. Taylor on a finish. And uh, double 12 is that finish. To level up the first set. How's the power doubling? This is, ooh, it's a mile away. Two sixes. That's how we away for the power standards. Yes, level in the first set. Be, as usual, ringside for Dad. Just a great temperament, this guy. Did bridge, did for party every year ago. Did for Baxter in Blackpool before failing. Some big scalps. And thoroughly deserves to be in this final. Yes, it has been the young guns who have made their mark on these championships. People like Mason and uh, Wayne Marble. Andy Hamilton, the qualifier, came through. He'll have happy memories of this tournament. But this guy, maybe, is going to have the happiest new year of them all. 60. Very modest lad. Apart from his victory tumble on the hockey when he gets at his session. There we see that peculiar grip of Taylor. No, don't even try to hold them like that. 38. Even Hercules wouldn't hold a javelin like that. Far too balanced. Is that a verb? A very early ruthless streak showing in Mark Dudwick. That's the key word, Dave. He's a thoroughbred. Mr. said was the biggest thing in the philosophy of daughter was to be a bully at every opportunity. 45. And the signs here that Philip Taylor isn't completely on his game. 93, his average at one point in this tournament, in one set he averaged 119. So we can see he still has 59. a few bullets to fire. Well, he's reported be very upset about that uh, set to uh, Painter. I think Peter has been on the phone to him trying to apologize, but Phil seems, seemed last night still upset by it. He gets the cover shot. Mark 107 for Mark Dudbridge to regain the lead. 107. 15 or a 7 it should be. No, double top for 2-1. Just pulls slightly. He has the power. To try and... Big shot, 141. A variety of ways of going, but he's got to hit a treble first dart. He has. Now then, which way? Double Beautiful. 12. Oh, Here we go then. Hip and took. Eyes of a stone lizard looking for a fly. He wants two fives. Yeah. Middle of the bed. Ominous for Taylor. He's got the shape. He's got the accuracy. He's got the talent. I think he's going to be a world champion. Maybe even tonight. Oh, a confident precision finish from the Bristolian. And he is now just. Uh, one leg away from the first set and this is exactly the kind of finish he would have been planning he his, his game plan his mindset would be to get a couple of early sets in if taylor gets clear then he takes a great deal of reigning back that's right the rain's led on you when he's ahead both average 90.4 and they're last out in remember Goodbridge took out Mardle, Taylor took out Anderson. Big, big stuff from that is 13 meters against Mardle, which is the way to take some of the glam of the Essex Hawaiian. 59. Phil Taylor then battling here. He's opened up. Uh, yeah. Daylight in the scores to square up the first set, but then of course Dudbridge, courtesy of his generosity, would have the darts in the deciding leg of the set. 
the tail will be off him like a rattle of a shutter, just like you chased Mason in that similar position in Blackpool. 2-2, two, two, as they were going to a break, Mason wanted this leg, and that's when Taylor did the nine dart. 59. Now Taylor on song. Would put in massive shot in the next leg, the decider of this set. Yes, we've seen that uh, Taylor, the player of all talents, but he has a particularly powerful middle game. He really comes alive back the second, third, fourth sets. Options here. Start with nine. Fat nine tops level. Game up and set. Lost the weight of the dart. Lost the weight of the dart. Still, Dubbridge has not really been keeping close order here, and he'll regret that. Taylor having two darts at a double. And Taylor's finishing at the moment is leaving a great deal to be desired. 16% his checkout success rate. Be sure he will improve on that. Double 10. That's a fair marker for it. It's too far away to be a stacker. No stacker here, no bouncer in. Has to go air shot. Oh, well, as you said, Dave, the signs are that Taylor's really off with the doubling. She's worried. And Dubridge has landed himself on a bogey here, which. Uh, is unfortunate for his chances. Taylor's had, what, five darts and a double here. Uncharacteristic. Double ten again. Right, ten with more fun. This is where Taylor attacks like a rabid hyena, usually, in deciding legs of sets. Beautiful first lie. Knows that this is going to but really hammer him and does his own counter punch. Ta Taylor really has just got a hit of 180 to uh, to stay with him. Here's the stagger dart. Oh, beautiful, and you'll never see a better dart for your scheme. About perfect technique. Now then, another maximum here, which is now. An impossibility, but Taylor didn't lose a lot of ground there, only 40. 59. So that 59 from Dudbridge, another ton 40, ton 80 here from Taylor, and this leg will have a completely different look about it. It's where you can get a benchmark of how determined he is, how he attacks legs like this. This is phenomenal by the power. 136. Turn it round. It's why he gives people the darts after he wins the bull. It's why he gives them it to suddenly get the psychological drop. A bull in the carpet! Taylor hasn't been in the, leg, the lead in this uh, set so far, but it would be typical of the man to hit the front when it counts most at the end. Lovely adjustment to the red bit. Two beauties, an ominous piece of precision from the reigning champion. Could be an 11 dart finish here from Philip Taylor to win the first set. Really has hit the accelerator at the right moment. 85 for Taylor, treble 15 might be his target. Double 16, is it in three? Ooh, Taylor missed the big three. Should be double nine, 18. Drama. But yes. Taylor readjusts brilliantly. That wasn't the finish he was really setting out to get, but he wins the leg, he wins the set, and that was a fascinating opener, and more to come, to be sure, here at the circus. Folks to the World Championship final here at the Circus Tavern. And there's the coolest dude in the place, the great Marco Pierre White, who makes chips of delight.
Imagine me wax poetical, yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, he certainly would be an eye open of the food they serve here, Sid. <laughs> Chips with everything. And I did see the other night a, a fellow with a plate just loaded with tomato ketchup. Uh, Here's this saucy one. Well, anyway, it was a saucy finish from Taylor. He had to readjust in that first uh, set, the last leg. He won it. And now he has the darts here in the second. And Mark Dudbridge, who, who led throughout until the 59. deciding leg, won't be over happy. The Hall of Fame, we've been inducted here. There's John Lowe, one of the original members, the great John Lowe, who played earlier here, went out early in the tournament, but still has played in a world final right the way back to 1978. So just about as long as you. Oh, thanks a million, Dudbridge, in with a lovely. Mark Adon in, in the bed. Opposite style, dear. Opposite style. Words down the bed rather than Taylor, who stacks them and takes them up the bed. Even though by the power stand, that's not a very good one. Coming out for 19s. 82. First man to get seven is the world champion. After a week of absolutely blistering darts, yeah. In Essex. Yes, we've had players from all over the world, from China, from Japan, from the West Indies, from Australia. And uh, the standard of the early matches actually said really was uh, an eye opener. Power stuck in beautifully to the right of the dart. Down at a possible two dart finish again. And he's only had 12 darts. Beginning to apply pressure on the young pretender to his crown. Is he ever? Penalty requires 79. There's a swagger about Taylor. Just see it upset about that altercation with paint there. He seemed to bleed the verbals and then later on, he seemed to regret looking aggressive to me. 144 for Dumbridge and he needs this shot because Taylor is on double 16. Just slight. Data One. bags, the presence of uh, Dumbridge here. Fry increased his face. Double 16. Pedro's finishing early on wasn't too good, but he's pushed it up to nearly 30% success right now. And That's three legs on the spin for Taylor, who was trailing 2-1, but now leading in the second set, and uh, Dudbridge it is who must get a grip. And just to give you a non connoisseur The logic of what Taylor did, won the ball, gave it to the opponent, so that if he then beats him, the opponent starts being bewildered. And then Taylor strikes again with his own throw. So it's a way of getting the two sets up. And it has to be said, Sid, that as we look at the Taylor camp, Yvonne Taylor and his wife, they're always a picture of uh, calmness and serenity. It has to be said on that first set, I didn't think it was going to work. I think I thought Dudridge was going to take the first set. He certainly had the best of the very early exchanges. But now Philip Taylor has settled in to a rhythm, and that could be ominous for Dudridge. That's fine, you're stuck in that accurate. Dudas is in for some punishment. Normally he stacks up, down. I've never seen Taylor stack sideways till tonight. 99. A man with all talents there. There's Dudbridge, who is emerging fast as the likeliest of the young guns to challenge Phil Taylor in a sharp shooter's gunpoint. Exactly right there, Lannan, yeah. Since he put John Pott out on last year's World Championship. He's never looked back, has done as. 134. Excellent cover shooting. The percentage game came out for Trevor 19, got it twice. But again, he's left himself on a bogey number. 
Terminus, Taylor pushing the average up beyond 96. 97. Which leaves him that uh, one for one again. See very slight points coming in as his marker. That's good recovery there. 100. One for Taylor one for Taylor. Travel 20 the first dart, then either travel 15 or travel 19 would leave a double. Would hurt too. Not on. He never comes for anything. Oh, he always in reverse stacking mood. Has to come to cover that hand. 18's there, beautifully takes off. But Dunnes with a chance of a two daughter here. Yeah, she hasn't had a shot at the double for the last three legs, so he should have here. Coming out for 16 or 8. Topsy wants. Just pulled it. How oh, will step in at. Well, he sometimes goes 8 for this one instead of the straight 16s on double. He wants double top for two love in the second set. And now double ten. Just bold inside the wire. And these are the chances that uh, Mark Dudbridge simply has to gobble up. Double ten. Double gobble. Even though Aaron Mind is past Christmas. He's not going to be a turkey up there. He's done as. It's the perfect Phil Tiller dart. That's the perfection that comes beyond the perfect. 140. You told me, Dave, uh, when he came to Ireland, he'd been practicing a new way of attacking that 60. Just watch what he does. The perfect dart goes in the bottom. Some guy just blasts away at the bed. He goes for actually a millimeter of the bed. And when he misses, he covers there. This one goes in off the barrel almost certainly. Oh, I hit the barrel off an inch of the took, took the wrong deflection. It's tight. It's tense. It's terrific. It's the world final. Lovely shot of how they dip under. Oh, and again, perfect shot. The margin of error. The darts is. And some say it's not a sport. Well, if you can toss someone like a Kerba 40 feet to land on its dull end, and then you can toss a piece of metal, some foot nine and a quarter, to land within a millimeter of where you want. He tell me what's a sport. Well, our friend Giles Smith on the Times made a very valid point. Saying that where you have shooting and archery, there are marksmen who rely on machinery to get the target right. These guys just rely on their own iron timing. Well, wow. slipped that one. 136. That's uh, Kate Taylor to 50. Uh, we saw him check out with that against uh, Kevin Painter, which caused all kinds of handbags to start swinging. One Don't hundred. think he'll go straight for the ball here. I think he'll go for 18 <laughs> or 10 to leave double top. It's a good mark, and for the clean side there. Ten score. This is the sort of chance Marker that Shane Burgess used to see he got from Taylor. 140 odd, 150 odd, 167. He leaves crumbs the size of Centurion tanks. Ho oh, oh. ho. 42. Well, Taylor's had uh, two Taylor darts in the double here 40. and two darts in the last leg. So his finishing is by no means at its yes. best, but that one was perfection. Game on. Winning dart from Taylor and now uh, Bridge has got to defend this leg to avoid going two down. He wouldn't have wanted that. That wasn't part of the game plan. And 96. Position. 95 near enough Taylor. But that's not good. 29.14 for Taylor. 87 to Dudders. Better check out average for Taylor. Sure, as you said, Dave. But he's double the doubling. If 
that's not double 59. Dutch. But it is the world final. Again, has a chance here to make a real impression on this leg and take the set. Should he win it? Tries to do a reverse stack in there, but 45. very sloppy. Very unlike Philip Taylor. He normally has a killer touch about this stage of a match. He likes to push in a kick. Which uh, takes him away two, three sets. He then has daylight. Then we see the exhibition stuff. He relaxes, and that is always moments of uh, magical stardust. And at this stage of the match, near the end of the second set, he's only averaging 93.5. Because we've sometimes seen him over 110 and even up to 119 in the last few days. Yes, and of course, we, we know. He's perfectly capable of putting in a burst like that for two or three sets in this particular final, and that's a mouth-watering thought. And Dubbridge can go with it. <laughs> Digging deep at the right time. Young master flash. Well, Dubbridge knows he really can uh, tell about this 66. Travel 10, perhaps. 16. 16 for tops now. Tops! 26. Well, this would hurt too. Taylor on 160. He's two travel 20s and tops. It really would be a knife in the ribs of his opponent. Absolutely. Just drifted leftward. Nice cover. Well, Dudbridge shouldn't let this one slip now to level up the set. Double top. Oh, double ten. Big dart, this one. Not big enough. Right. To go 2 1 up in the match and start the flash fans. Feeling like a dirty pan. Mm, went for double 19. Another player might have gone for six and double 16. And Taylor has obscured part of the target with that first throw. Ball the set. That's a good line through the flight. 19 Missed it. Save the set. Mark you required 20. So he had four darts and a double here, and he won't get many gifts like this from Phil Taylor. So it's Phil Taylor with the dart here. We just saw how Dudbridge here hits the double, used the uh, first dart quite cleverly, just for a merest kiss of deflection. And Taylor will be thinking, perhaps, Sid, that this set should already have been won. He had two darts to win the second leg, and he had three darts to win that one. He really should have won this set. One yeah, but there is. is. <laughs> Sorry, grammar went wrong. There are the three darts that show that he lets no negative thought and clattered in the three trebles. So there's only his heels. 140. Of time. The Dudas fans are going to look a bit white around the gills. Now another treble here, Sid, and there's still a possible nine darter, you know, because he had a 3 2 4. That leaves him 144. Taylor has twice done a nine darter on Sky, and uh, he knows it's on, and so do the crowd here. And this could really be another of those moments to go into the archives. 144, Sid. What a man! 44. He takes us to pastures. New. What does he? 60. He did a 60 to start the combination shot. Set him up though, hadn't it, for the leg and the set. As we never expected that last treble. 
11 darter. Opponent half the leg back, just like Long John Silva. <laughs> 140. Riley. requires 62. 62 for Taylor for two zip. 12 for tops. Double top. Oh, another set. Pull it. As I said, 140s, 120s. This is the sort of crumbs he gets for Taylor. The minute. Now the ball, such an important dart for Dubbridge to level it all up. Yeah! Gets it! The Dunners fans leap to their feet. 141 with a bow finish. Game on in our final. Bullseye shot that has changed the whole night and might yet change the destination of the World Championship. Mark Dudbridge checking a 1 2 1 8 to take the second set. And remember, Sid, Phil Taylor was on the possible nine dart finish in that leg. A remarkable leg of dart from Dudbridge. Well, Dave points out the psychological effect of Taylor giving away the start. And then beating him in the set, countermanded by that brilliant stroke for the one from Dures. World final. First man at the seven is the winner. You know, and Taylor had the darts in that second set, Sid, and had uh, 140. Eight darts at doubles. He, he knows. He should have won it, and I mean, his checkout percentage will be causing him concern. 23% the success rate. He can more than double that. 59. Okay. Didn't look too clever against Anderson last night with the doubles. But in handle and Wayne Martel so beautifully yesterday, like a slim picador, a very big bull. So Bridge was doubling great. Crowd here wrapped with attention as well they might be. This is one of the great sporting moments of any oh, year. It's very early in the year, but this sort of sets the pace. John Lowe and his lady Karen there, interested spectators, the senior statesman of World Championship Darts, John Lowe. Great, great, great favourite here with the circus devotees. Makes the 60 bit a little bit bigger with that line. What a beautiful last start by the power. <laughs> Lovely adjustment by the challenger. Oh, and again. Taylor required 122. Shot for Taylor. Should be 18s. Treble 18 now would leave bullseye. Just seen it from. Dudbridge, but he'll stay there. But Dudbridge is on a finish as well. 54. And Dudbridge has mounted a little gallop oh, here. 62. Absolutely. Treble tens very handy. Fuck 12. Skinny red bit, top of the shop. To take the lead against the power. 42. Badly pulled. Fairly requires 68. Treble 20 will be his first target. He'll settle for a single. 16 or 8 now. Double top. He's just got one dart. 28. Missing his doubles again. Is Dave picked up on? Dublin's down a measurable 22%. Dublin's is only 36. And that one's in like a flash. Oh, sorry about the pun. But flash, flash in the middle of the doubles. Further ahead against the power. Game on. Taylor is now behind. He was behind in the first set until the deciding leg. 
but uh, Dadbridge has wow. regained the lead. And there was something oh, negative, let's say, let's say negative with a very small A. And the power's use, the attempt, the shot of the 60 there, he didn't look sure. 40. He didn't look sure last night at all against Bob Anderson. Already won it easily. Lobo impressed. The Lion in winter. There's a of opportunity to the left. One didn't take it. Well, you've got to usually use a massive microscope to look at problems in the power's armor. But if you look hard like me and Dave Lannan, we're seeing some. And no doubt this fella is nearer than us, and he can see him too. 60. This is doubling that's his Achilles heel this evening, Sid, already. I'm sure he'll improve that uh, percentage rate, but he is not lording it on the outer rings this evening. Cover shot. 59. 87.8. Check out And look at that. Better average, but only 23.7. Taylor. That is Phil Taylor we're talking about. 11 times world dodge champion. Averaging a miserable. 134. Yes, had he been hitting his doubles, Sid, uh, his average would be well up over 100. Nobody does sell chastisement. Better or stronger than Taylor. Yeah. Just had a quick back back. So 17 darts at doubles Taylor's missed, and we're only in the first leg of the third set. Fifty-nine. Select darts. Thirty-one. One hundred and nineteen. One hundred and nineteen to square up. That's uh, twenty-one. Ninety-five. Nice cover. And Dudbridge uh, won't be able to finish on two oh eight. So Philip Taylor will be back at double twelve, and he will be telling himself it is time to sharpen out his check out technique. Has been sadly lacking so far. He's going to have to improve if that twelfth world title is going to come his way. Two sixes. A mile away by Istan. That's double three. The power going round the board on doubles, missing like a B-team player in the dog and ferret. Incredible. 16 or 8 here now. Now double 16 to steal the leg, and he has done so. And he has picked Taylor's pocket and put Taylor again has let him in. Three darts and a double. And if a Venusian walked in, Thank and you said, tell me which one of these blokes is the world champion, the Venusian would say, wink one of his three eyes, the bloke in black! 45. Taylor, not the dominant force we have seen in so many world finals here at the circus. Slap use of the second dart. 100. <laughs> 100. Third dart in the sequence. Is a, a sort of burble. A burble as of. Overheated stew in the audience, suggesting an upset. Roth will come out of the pan if Goodbridge keeps this up. I'll remind you that uh, there's a difference of £30,000 be between finishing first and second here. 22. Biggest individual cash prize in World Darts. £300,000 the original fund here at this 12th World Championships. Taylor, we know, what? has already picked up uh, a £60,000 check just a couple of months ago for his uh, showdown against Andy Fordham. On this very stage. What? Oh, look at Another 60 of an inch, and there was 180 there. 161 for Taylor. Now then, treble 
70. He may not go for the ball if he hits it because Dudbridge can't finish, but I think he might just for the crowd. Yes, he has. Sensational. Playing to the gallery there, Phil Taylor. Treble 20, treble 17. Bullseye. Thank you very much. That is a party piece. First time I've ever disagreed with he 12 years of co commentary team. <laughs> he was going for that. For the psychological blue it was. Granted, logically he had time. I didn't say he was going to go, I just said he has the option not to go, Sid. But uh, it's lovely to see it. it th those kind of finishes really capture the crowd's imagination. Like this. Oh, what? Oh, the ghost of Owen Evans would smile down from Dark Seven. On as beautiful a maximum as that. But here's the perfect stacking down for Taylor to get two in the red bits. There's the first one. There's the second. And another maximum here from Dadbridge, or a 177 would set him up for a possible nine darter. Great game. 85. Keep the last spot in this. <laughs> Is too much in the middle, I thought. Perfectionists, every side of the camera. 139. It's ended up on a, a bogey number there, Sid. Yep. This is really cut and thrust. Cut and rip. That's the right bit. Della would agree with where that one is in the 60. He needs to go for three or 11, we reckon. It's up to him. 131. But Dudridge has a chance here. 136, one, two treble 36. 20. We'll set him up here for the set. Ooh, the shot is on. Just with the way away. 96. 35, 32. Double 16 for Taylor to draw level in the third. Again, the miss on the double. Still a chance. Yeah. Middle of the bed. And again, set up. Rippling single leg that he's trying to set. So the third successive set has gone to a deciding leg. That's how tight this 2005 final has been. Neither player really giving much, although Taylor's doubles have given his younger opponent a chance to be on terms here. Had Taylor been hitting his doubles, uh, it's pretty certain that he'd be three up now, but this has made it a real tasty feast. He's never 60. Only 60. And give credit to Mark Dubridge, uh, Sid, he has taken those chances. Look at this. Oh, fantastic! Precision marksmanship. Moving twice an eighth of an inch along the sixth bed. Well, that's his fifth of the final. He did 12 against Wayne Model in the semi, you remember, so... Dudbridge clearly... It's a terror on the travels. Throwing with the same composure. Rock solid stance. Eyes! Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Tungsten. But he'd shoot against Mardle. He does have a superb temperament for the big time, Mark Dubbridge. Left a two dark possible finish for the set. Expectation by the Dudbridge fans. It's going to have six starts at this, whatever. Double top. Yes! There he goes. Ahead to one. The challenger against the power. Just the start. He won it. Taylor. 
are here, pensive, back of stage, has the darts here, steps up, just a little bit on the back foot, 2-1 down, he has the darts here. We'll be looking to level it here in the fourth. 96 average dealer, but only a 26% checkout. Opponent nearly double left checkout. And once again, potentially, we have a fabulous final for the past two years. They have been classics. Are we to have a hat trick? It's looking that way. Taylor not on his game, not quite. Dudbridge doing everything that can be expected. This could go the distance, and it could be another heart-stopping encounter. 140. That's uh, all to block the line, but any over pitches with that one. Who would have thought, Sid, that at this stage, Dudbridge checkout percentage would almost be twice as good as Philip Taylor's? Dudbridge. <laughs> has that proper amount of pride that you need. It verges on the arrogance of the great in any sport. Durez, nice lad, but certainly aware of his own talent. There's the room for the 60. The world oh, press, the world press is here. We saw the cutaway of one of the cameramen. And we've had barrels of printing ink all this week. From our friends in Fleet Street. I think that kid from Lessig's Bugle at my pasty. <laughs> he must be a brave lad. Not the interesting of the 60 this time. Uh, but who is going to dish out the pasty here in this final? 30. It's still beautifully poised. To wait, he wants. That'll do. completely focused there. Knew the shot he wanted. Got to win. He's got to win. The set, really, and uh, we didn't think we would be saying that. Thought that uh, Taylor would put in his usual electric burst early on, to carry him into the lead. But it's Dudbridge, and that makes life even more interesting here. At the jam-packed circus tavern, the very pulse beat of world darts. Absolutely. One hundred. Strawberry jam-packed, finger-licking, great darts. World final. Good marker. Beautiful downward adjustment. One hundred and forty. not Taylor at all. Just wonder, Sid, you know, just looking back on the week that it really has been the youngsters who have caught the eye with, with the notable exception of, of Bob Anderson, of course, who had a wonderful renaissance, but it's been this kid, Dudbridge, it's been Chris Mason, it's been Marnell, um, Andy, Lloyd, Andy Hamilton, Colin Lloyd. Just wonder if the new brigade are just going to gradually oh, move and take over. Phil Taylor himself said to our colleague Helen Chamberlain, who's 44 and feeling it, I wonder if we're just beginning to see a different complexion creeping into world darts. Exciting days, so many emerging talents. 100. But we're one of them, what we just mentioned, in four or eight or 11 world titles. It's done the unfeasible feat. He has fought the incredible fight, and he's fighting again now. 97 for Dudbridge. Treble 19 for double top. Oh no bother. The main feature of this game is the beat doubling delightful as the power is doubling dross. Thanks, love, uh, the lady from the club, they just sent in five gourmet pies. And I'm not getting 
<laughs> you forgot the sauce. Well, this is a moment of what? A moment of history in television commentary. Five meat pies have been delivered to Sid Waddell. Only desperate Dan would acknowledge that. <laughs> There's a cow's horn sticking out of one of them. 60. Wherever his darts going to move next, we have a gourmet chef designing darting pies <laughs> and they're being delivered on commentary. Quite phenomenal. <laughs> 100. They are common pies, and no enough pies in this commentary box. 125. Well, we've got a feast of pies, but they're having a feast of darts out there at uh, the circus. And again, it's delicately poised. 137. Mark to require 136. Two one up. Single sixteen now. Taylor on a telecom out here. That's another bogey. It was curious. We seem to have landed on there several times in this final. But uh, Taylor may well just be tilting at windmills. One hundred and twenty. Yeah, with Dudbridge on double top and he's finishing. It's fifty percent, which is acceptable long way away but I'm sure this is going to be much nearer it's not big dart oh, I think he's on the point of taking another set and going 3-1 up against the power and the power must think it's ground on dear Painter went 4-1 up a year ago yes uh, Dunbridge took that leg against Taylor's throw and Taylor's looking just a little bit concerned back at the stage come further I'd say a little bit rugged His daughter Natalie, his family, such loyal followers and supporters. We've sort of seen them grown up here at the circus. 100. What a match. What a man. I hate to blow my own trumpet, but I've got to. I've been cracking this kid up for about 16. 18 months now. This world championship material. Because of his shape. Because of his talent. Because of his... Fear of no opponent. Everyone in the world fighting. Dutchbridge showing his metal. Name of the metal. Top Johnston! Yes, so many players have come through to take on Phil Taylor. I think in, in all the world champs, he's played over 30 different players here. But although we have had uh, Dennis Priestley, of course, he's been such a, a competitor, been a manly warrener. John Part is the one player possibly we could uh, nominate who has, who has met and matched and indeed beaten Ted. They're the only man who has here. But now we wonder if a new pretender is going to be crowned. A new era will be ushered in to world darts. And you don't have to go over the sea to see it on Sky. The pretender is here. 100. This is the kind of finish now that Taylor needs to win this leg and break straight back. 164, treble 20, first dart. How often have we seen other players faced with this to get back at Taylor? But he's not far out of this 1 2 5 for 3 1, which will make this already incandescent venue. Sizzle! Went for the 25 and missed. Unusual. 53. Well, Phil Taylor has got to start hitting these darts at doubles and hitting them cleanly. It's been his letdown thus far. That isn't.
Phil to first. So the break back from Philip Taylor, who now has the darts, and he'll be anxious to open impressively and consolidate the leg and go back on terms to a piece. I'm sorry, Dave, I had to put things right on the pies. They're made by Mark up here. White, full, uh, perfect, and had built. But I'm still going to eat them. 100. Afterwards. And we could be celebrating with pie mashing liquor. I mean, the black greasy stuff that looks like licorice. A Dud Bridge victory. 60. Tension tangible here at the circus. Phil Taylor with that so individual grip and release. 60. But things are going his way. And that table says it all. That's as parity and as thick as sense as you'll ever see the Taylor punch. Look at this. The one in it. One in it. Gimme, gimme, gimme dots from Dudas. 6 from Dudbridge at a very important time. 3 1 up, and uh, Taylor will be rocking. There is a look about his eyes. It's something predatory. It's very fast, and above all, very hungry. one finish was uh, similar to the one he did in the fifth leg of the second set you remember ending on the ball the dart that changed the shape of the match 17 long way away inch away for once the predator your eyes blink Pass him at them. and phil taylor now knows he needs to hit this one for one treble 21st dart Treble 19 would leave him double 12 for a 1 4 1 finish to take the sets. Hold tight. Oh, eighth of an inch away. And there is a wince of intent. The Taylor lot jumping, not with happiness. Fat 16. You could touch the silence with litmus paper. Topsy once. So Dudbridge gives the reigning champion a lifeline. Thank you. And he looks at Bruce to get order. Then he shouts to himself, come on, double six, a vital dart in the match. It's not in. Yes! You can hear that shout 200 miles away in the potteries. The power pulls back. Two sets apiece. Our final on fire. Phil Taylor level it all with that dart two sets apiece. So welcome back as he does a little jig of joy to what potentially is building up into one of the truly great finals in darting history. Two apiece, Taylor and Dudbridge. It couldn't be closer. It could hardly be better. Future world champion. In our time, you can know what style, what class, what accuracy. But this man just wants more. Asking his ambition is for titles. Simple answer once, many years ago, 
I'm cutting there. Any amount. Maxwell to open the fifth set against the throw. So Taylor again, a statement of intent here. This has all the makings of an all the setter. Could go all the way. So good is the challenger. So determined is the holder. So going to break the ever. Of circus have delivered brown sauce for Sid and his meat pot. I got an awful feeling, Sid. You remember the cricket boys at Test Match Special used to get chocolate cake? I can see you being buried under an avalanche of meat pies. What a way to die! Here was Sid, he died under a canopy of nothing but pies. But he had a lot of crust. <laughs> so wonderful, wonderful darts, yeah. And Phil Taylor down at. Uh, Two dark finish for what might be an 11 dark leg against the throw. 41. Not happy with that last dart. 81. Bob Russell, MP, sensible man, inspired man, wants to bring darts into the Olympics. Where with him? He's the Colchester from Colchester and he's a Liberal Democrat. Double four. Gets the throw. Taylor. Edges ahead again. This will be for Colchester. I think I'm right in saying, Sid, that uh, the. Uh, Starting Premier League, we'll be going to that part of the world next year. So we're looking forward to breaking new ground and introducing big time darts to new audiences. But it is refreshing to see a member of Parliament taking such uh, a great uh, interest in darts. Well, that's very good. If you tune in your Olympic channel, what would you rather see? Synchronized swimming or a match like this? <laughs> Pure. Pure talent. Not what I would like. Well, wow, this has such a competitive edge, and uh, that synchronised swimming is more like underwater flower arranging. Ninety-five. This match of seven sets is the winner. What a match! A thoroughbred. A player from the Bristol area that's produced some great ones. That's where Evans and Reese used to go for top darts. Cliff English too. 29. Well, now then, uh, Phil Taylor has a real chance here to take another leg, push further ahead in this set. Dudbridge had the throw here. 83. So tight, so close. It's colossal. Lovely first dart. Beautiful change of angle on the second one. That was a fantastic change of angle on that second dart. It was deliberate. So he's a possible finish, and uh, Taylor's going to have to work hard to leave a finish now. Lovely second dart. 125. Responded well. Oh, well, oh, yes. I don't think the world could manage with two of you, Sid. That's <laughs> my luck, a lot. 100. Now then, Taylor on 98. Well, now, Trevor 20 would leave double 19 from one end of the board to the other. Going to go for it for two up in the Missed fifth. this before. Yeah. Oh! Not bad time there. Last time he had two dots that had unsuccessfully. And he can see he's a bit pleased. Where's Dudbridge? He's lost his Kalashnikov. Just wonder if we're seeing the start of uh, Taylor's mid match power play. Certainly he's put in two pretty good legs. He's taken his average up to 98. He's pushed up that checkout percentage to 34%. So he's improving. And that 
is ominous for the young challenger. That's right. In two of his earlier matches, he had averages of 101. 59. Down 92 against Bob. 90 odd against Bob Anderson. But he's decided to get the 100 going here, Taylor. 140. Well, there you can see those improved figures from Taylor. He's back in front. But uh, you have to say he's still got five or ten points in reserve and he can certainly up that checkout percentage. So Dudley's still with it all to do. It's, it's just perfectly poised this match. Absolutely, you would expect the power to send the average well over 100 to 203. You've got such a good opponent. Wonderful, even pace the match. This is exactly the kind of match that Taylor normally relishes. Good, easy, even pace. 100! Competitive element, fine sport. Is that the Roy of the Rovers used to play for? 100! Only. 100. How I could go to a nice little two down. It's already there. He needs a stagger. He needs a stagger. Gets a stagger. 140! And Dadford's can all afford to miss this 80. With Taylor breathing right down his neck on 62. Fat 20. Skinny red bits. Open target. 40. Filling requires 62. Taylor looking good now then for 3 2. Treble 10 for double 16. Two darts. Might only need one. Does only need one. You can see him. Now then. Oh, like it. Said Taylor when the treble went in. So the power surges ahead. Pushing up the average 200, pushing up the checkouts. Ladbrokespoker.com, supporters of the World Darts Championship. We have just seen the most emphatic set of the final of the Ladbrokes World Championship, and it's come from the reigning champion, Philip Taylor. Each of the previous four sets had gone to five lengths, but Taylor won that last one against the throw, three zip. And he has the darts here, and we wonder if Taylor is going to mount one of his killer kicks in. There you go. That is what Brissy took him and taught him to absolutely bully the opponent. Like desperate dance, taking sticks of rock from kiddies in prams. Look at the complexion we have now. Taylor hustling around the hockey like a predatory teddy bear. <laughs> Cuddle me if you dare. 96. Thousand pounds playing poker on the telly, Taylor. So no way does he want this for the money. One hundred and sixty-one. We've seen him do this earlier there in the third, the leg of the third set. Ninety-five. Just got to get 140 here, the pressure of the shot. 
He's lost the last five legs now, Dunbridge. He'll be anxious to stop that sequence. It only requires 66. And Taylor beat them legs there. Now double top. 46. No way. Yes. This is a fabulous finish if you could manage at 164. Travel 20, not there. And how often do you have to get them against the power from the potteries? Failure required 20. Double time. Perfect dart. They hit the barrel and go in. They still use that barrel. Oh, Went for the barrel. Again, he has left the door ajar for Dugridge on 104. And Taylor knows that four darts in the double after a 180. And it looks like he's going to have to pay. He wants double top. 64. Over pitched. Failure required 20. Sure. Tens. One mile away, an injury. And just when we thought that Taylor was turning the screw, that's uh, eight darts of the double there, and, and Dublin's just got to take this now. Ten. He's at fives as well. Middle of the bed. Big, big piece of emotion. Big darts. Wow, well, there you see. To throw first. Like a pair of basketball players threatening body checks. Come on. You might just look back on that, make you know, Sid. In the final analysis, it could have a wow. telling outcome. Because you had seven darts in a the double there, Taylor, after a 180 to start the leg. And that would have extended uh, his winning sequence to six legs. But it's just wow. lifted Dudbridge. That, that kind of psychological advantage when you think you have no hope and suddenly you come through and grab it and triumph. It's got to be good for your morale. 28! Dudbridge still winning the checkout back below 41 players, 31%. Can you make a move forward? Opportunities to split the difference. Wow. Bounce of the barrel. Just wonder over the years, so many players have run smack into the Philip Taylor steamroller. You'll be thinking, I never used to miss seven darts in a double when he was playing me. But there's tension and the electricity in the air here. It is the perfect stage for what could be a match of near perfection. Yeah. A long way from it. <laughs> Two years ago, John Todd took him. Seven, six. There go. He took Pinta, who led 4 1. Till I ran out the back, screaming, I can't take the pressure, can't take the pressure. And the mustachio Jordy Kaleni Cox said, I don't hear no back in the second. The rest is history. Run back out and won the match. Again, seven, six. Big score here could help Taylor. Lots of room in the treble. Yes, yeah, super flock in the red flock. Wonderful team. Wonderful team. Great pressure, Dutch. Could go for a double double top here. Did and drop one short. So now Dudbridge, who stole the last leg, can take this one with double top for two love. Now double ten again. Such an important throw from Dudbridge. That's the one! Game on here! One more leg and we're locked in three apiece, and it just cranks higher. The standard. Taylor, though, we know. Well, wow. keep hammering the scores. There's no way he will abandon this set. Has lost. 
knows he can just win three legs on the trot. Just has to find that uh, magical touch. Wow. Uh, never far from the service. The cream of Bristol. I agree with that. Here we go, Killer. Wow. Oh, Sonia! The Max there. And the sheen of sweat appearing on both of their faces now. Like a couple of gladiators. Oh, but there's no more lions in that gate. And again, Taylor in charge of this leg as he needs to be, but these darts are careless. 66. Big finish next time for Taylor. Dubbage a long way back. Nothing on her. Still got of opportunity to the left of the marker. <laughs> Lovely darts. You will require 155. No, 19, it's treble 19. Double 19 for a 155 checkout, and that was just a whisker away. Has to pressure the shot. Yeah, but at the end of this, Jules could be saying, Who's the daddy now? 99. Double 19 for Taylor. Yes. The bridge out with a white tower, which is not, I'll assure you, for flinging in. He's a competitor. Power throwing. Just say the set in this one then. The ideal start for taking it. Corridor of opportunity to the left. Beautiful! Now that's a perfect start. That's too high. It's well, come on. 97! But you'd reckon Dave Dunners would be first at the double. Oh, yes, he's. Uh... Especially with that lie. Look at this for precision. Wow. Oh, lucky son! Second of the word, precision. Perfect stacker. Might and main. All his skill with a stack of darts, not to let this set slip. Well, if he wins this one, it'll be all square at three apiece, and once again, we can only repeat, it just could not be better poised. Oh, he last dart. Paid it on the red. We're market girls. Well, be right. Here we go then. Yes, Dudbridge has hit this shot before. 121. Can he do it again to level the scores? Can he make his mark on this set? Still a possibility. Taylor's got a big finish to follow. 164. Save this set. Needed a sixth start combination. Opponent on a sweet little two dart now to pull it absolutely level, Dave Running. So 64. No, 16, double eight. Oh. On the wire. On left. Just pulls. Taylor has the same shot here. 64 to square the six. Double top, two darts, might only need one. Does need only one. He wants his 12th title. What a game. Fantastic, still the Stokers are poker faced. They don't know what's coming up. And when men gather to talk about darts matches, they'll talk about this six set. So we said that first leg when Taylor missed seven times, might make a change, might be pivotal and that last leg with Dudbridge having two darts and a double to win the set and he's let Taylor back in and Taylor normally is ruthless in this kind of circumstance. Only Attention. Dragging people from their seats. Attention. Producing a bag of nails. 
Cody Dudridge. Taylor looking good there. Four two. You won't be far away with this one. If you hear me, you'll probably point to an 11 or 12 data here. To open daylights, there's never been more than one set between these players. And uh, Dubridge is determined to keep it that way. Oh, come on, Marston! Man in black, goes back to the holder. She'll not try one at that. Reverse stacking. He's not that good at reverse stacking, you know. Well, that 180 has opened up possibilities for Dudbridge. It's only 60 adrift now. He should square it here and go ahead. Still tight, tight, tight. And uh, Taylor taking his time, moving to the mark, measuring his shot, focusing. Perfect one to slide this into the 60. Doesn't use the lie. 24. That is a real mistake from Taylor, and he's given the initiative to Dudbridge here to square it. Wants to leave a two dot an hour. 60. Hasn't really taken the opportunity, and I think it even the electricity in the air is getting to these two finalists now. So now Dudbridge on the more uncomplicated finish, 120, all 20s. Oof, made it complicated now. Leaves tops, but one three seven changes the picture from black and white to technical for the Taylor fans. The shot is on, just missed that treble right here. Go. So, Mark Dudbridge now in this pivotal set wants double top to square the match at three apiece. Desperate third dart now, he's got to hit this one, he has it. Has he ever? Game on and how? Flash from Bristol. Three, the power three. All the fun starts here. Ladbrokespoker.com, supporters of the World Darts Championship. Welcome back to the Circus Tavern. A wonderful final in progress and congratulations, Sid and Dave. They've had a great week. They've left us now as uh, John Gwynn, Stuart Pike. See you through to the end and nobody knows where that'll be because Dudbridge celebrates Dobbs with a last dart. And Taylor, well, in fairness, Stuart, he uh, acknowledged that. What a final. We wondered whether we could match the epics of the last two years when Park beat Taylor 7-6 and Taylor beat Painter 7-6. Are we going to go the distance in 2005? Dudbridge is giving Phil Taylor a heck of a run for his money and three all is just about right. Couldn't agree with you more. Dudbridge has missed opportunities to win sets, but Taylor, too, has had opportunities Six, himself. Uh, one or two big finishes and a uh, very, very even contest indeed. Not reflected in the averages. 90 for Dudbridge, 97 Six, for Taylor, eight. to the nearest uh, full figure. And... Um, and fairness, there's not that much between them in the 
checkout percentage either. It's just a case of when wow. Taylor's won his legs, he's won with a little more comfort than when Dubridge has won his. That's what that uh, can be put down to. The fact is, it's three sets all. All to do with missed doubles, certainly in the first wow. half of this final. Dubridge missing darts to go 3 1 up, and then Taylor reeling off five consecutive legs. There are the numbers. Not too much between them, but if Dubridge is going to be crowned world champion, he is going to have to average, well, at least another seven or eight points, unless we could see another power surge at the Circus Tavern. Well, he's hit eight of these. Hey, sorry, he's hit nine of these. Wonderful scoring on the maximums. The lad from Bristol. Don't forget, 13 against Wayne Mardle in the semi-finals. Nine so far tonight. Big three. Yeah. Sensible throwing there by Dubridge. We saw him probably check out the best 121 of his life to win the second set. Now needs two fours. So go ahead in this final. Yeah, he rather stole that. Taylor kicked off with a 177, followed up with a 180. We thought he might get the nine data. In fact, he lost the leg. Double one needed here by Dudbridge. Oh, the hard one. In a way, it's just as well it dropped beneath rather than go above. At least he'll come back for double four. A good job, Phil Taylor's back on a 180. But we just had a sneaking feeling, didn't we, throughout the day that this was going to be something special. So far, so it has proved to be. Well, has to get it this time. Six darts he's missed again for a very important leg of darts. It was noticeable in the last leg of that previous set how both players were tentative. Nothing tentative about this. Very much tentative as he wants tops for this hand eye to take the leg that Dubridge should have won and Dubridge hates tells all. Power punishment in Perfleet for Mark Dubridge. Could that be another very, very important leg in this final? He can't believe it. Well, he just got to put it out of his mind. Six darts, which, well, in normal circumstances, you'd expect him to get, but these are not normal circumstances. You're dead right, and it was the darts at double one that were the most disconcerting. There was no conviction about the first, and there was even less conviction about the third. The tightening of the arm, the sensing of the occasion, and the importance of the moment. Been there before, done it. Won the T-shirt 11 times. Taylor. 5th 180 of the night. Brilliant, dramatic final of the World Championships. Just what it should be. Well, this could be very, very special. Yeah, he just wants to get as many big scores as he can. Nine data would be a happy bonus. But uh, there's no great reward for it other than winning the leg. And in circumstances such as these, that's rewarding up, methinks. Well, the thing that I've noticed during this final is that when Dubridge misses a succession of darts, it takes him a leg to get it out of his system. He really does struggle in the following leg. That is a pattern that is certainly becoming clear in this final. Needs to get it out of his system. This would be the best way to do it. 
You bet it would! Ten for Dunbridge, five for Taylor, and we're only in the seventh set. And that makes this 92 a little different than it looked before, as he looks a treble 20. No thoughts of the ball in his mind. Can't wait to see what happens, dart by dart, and Dudridge now for 78. Oh, at least have one dart at a double. 18, 20 tops, treble 18, double 12. The tables are turned then. Two 12s. Has to get this. Good marker, should be kind. He was a mile away. One of the worst darts he's thrown in the match at a critical point. And that's it, get into the lad. You've got to say that's when you can, you can see that a dart player of his calibre would never be that far away, other than when it's really getting to him, and the arm will not do what it normally does do. And somehow he's got to battle through that and find his way back to how he was. Yes, he hit the 180, but it's the crucial dart at the double. That is the one that causes the arm sometimes to seize up. He missed four darts to win, or oh, sorry, six darts to win the first leg. He missed two darts to win the second leg. Um, needs to find his finishing touch once again, Mark Dubridge. What a run it's been for the young man from Bristol. And is he going to follow in a long line of world masters to become world champions? And a few of those, yes, and... Uh... Perhaps the most famous of them, Eric Bristol, five times each. Five times master, five times Nine world champion. Six. Taylor has won the World Masters, but has won the World Championship 11 times. Yes, X1 in Roman numerals, and he wants X11. 99. Oh, a special atmosphere inside the Circus Tavern. Best venue for darts anywhere in the world, an atmosphere all of its own. And they are enjoying yet another terrific final for the third consecutive year here. But has Dudbridge got the stamina to go the distance with this man? Five of the six sets have gone the distance. First to Taylor, 3 2. Second to Dudbridge, 3 2. Third to Dudbridge, 3 2. Fourth to Taylor, 3 2. The fifth set, Taylor made his mark. Averaged 122.2 in the set. Winning it 3 0 in 13, 14, and 14 darts. The next set, the sixth. Dudbridge, 3 2. But this one looks as though it's going to go the way. Pottery power! Twelve years we've been here at the Circus Tavern. He's appeared in every single final. Shooting like that has taken him to 11 world titles. The thing about this set as well, it's on Dudbridge's throw. The next set, it'll be Taylor throwing first in three legs. And uh, the first time that Taylor's really turned the screw when it's been Dudbridge's throw, it's as if he's just bringing out that little bit extra. Although in this case, I think uh, one has to admit that Dudbridge has missed opportunities galore, and he's paid for them. So Taylor in front once again. The power leads Mark Dubridge by four sets to three. There we have it.
the Circus Tavern, a fantastic crowd, and this the ninth day of a festival of darts. And whilst there's been a festival of a darts, it's got to be said that our minds have never been far away from events across the other side of the world, and this afternoon, this crowd raised a magnificent £11,397 for the Tsunami Earthquake Charity. And uh, whilst we obviously would rather have not had to do that, a wonderful, wonderful response. Anyway, back to the darts. Let's focus now on this wonderful final. Dudbridge 3, Taylor 4, Taylor throwing first in this set in three of the legs. Should really go 5-3 ahead, but we know that these finals, Stuart, just somehow don't quite work out like that, necessarily. Well, there's never been two sets between them in the final so far, and the last time that uh, Taylor won a set 3-0, when he averaged 122, wow. Dubridge somehow came back to take the throw off Taylor again and level at three apiece. Well, Taylor won the last set 3-0, and Dubridge is going to have to do it again. First to seven, you get the biggest prize of wow. all, your crown world darts champion for 2005. The world master of 2002, runner-up in the world match play 2004. Wonderous. Mark Dudbridge. Taylor. Well, we've heard it all before, time and time again. Champion of the world. And many other titles to go with it as well. And throwing there. To the treble 20 bed again, and leaving himself on 27 there. Wanted the uh, 10 90. to leave 32, Stuart, and it landed short in the 15. Anyway, he'll square it off. Double eight. Ah, uh, to deny Dudbridge a shot at 170. And four legs in a row now to Taylor since Dudbridge took that eventful sixth set in the decider. Big darts now for Mark Dudbridge. He has performed terrifically well. But I still think if he's going to beat Taylor, he averaged 97 in his second match when he beat the former world champion John Pars. He's going to have to up his average from. Well, 89, 297 if he's going to, to live with Taylor in the rest of this final. The Dubbridge supporters a little bit subdued at the moment. We've been playing nearly two hours here at the Circus in this 2005 final. And Mark Dubbridge did ask me to mention his uh, greatest supporter, Pat O'Loughlin, his sponsor. And uh, Pat had... Uh, Mark over in Ireland doing his first ever exhibitions after he became the World Masters champion. And I know they'll be watching in Murphy's Bar, Paddy Malloy's Bar in Rockchapel, County Cork. And of course, right across the city of Bristol, they'll be shouting for this lad. And a few other places too, hoping that he can get back level. Well, he's left himself a finish. We've already seen Taylor. Check out 161 tonight. Wonder well, as only Taylor can in the big events. Require 161. What a massive boost for the confidence it would be, but he knows with Taylor back on 203 that uh, he will get the opportunity. Yeah, terrific leg from Dudbridge and. Uh, with the throw here, wanting 31, irrespective of what Taylor does here. It's against the throw that somehow, as he did on occasions earlier in the contest, find a way to defy Taylor. Well, remember, two darts like that at double eight to win a set earlier. Absolutely vital, one outside, one just inside. Taylor stepped in, took the leg. Now, will he do the same again here? 
So 84 left, treble 20 will... Ah, uh, well, 64 left. He'll go for treble 16. He's not happy and has to pick his dart up again. He holds them very, very lightly in his left hand when he's dispatching the, the missile with his right. So Doug breaks down. Two falls. Straight in the middle. Um, a vital dart in a vital set for the pretender to fill Taylor's throne. Yes, and uh, this, the 34th leg of the contest now, Stuart. Normally, by the time you're into 34, 35 legs, you're into the uh, 9th, 10th, and maybe even the 11th set, but certainly in the 10th. But these have been so closely contested. Yes, two sets have gone 3-0, but all the others have gone 3-2, and at the moment it's 19-14 uh, in Taylor's favour in legs. Massive set for both the world champion and the man who's so desperate to take Taylor's crown. One and one. <laughs> well, 101. Makes it nice and uh, tidy, 300 left. I don't think Taylor will go for six balls, do you? <laughs> Might try it in an exhibition. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant, son. 11 in the match for Dubbridge, who has, without a shadow of a doubt, been the most prolific player this week on those 180s. He's got as many 180s in this match as Taylor has titles over the last 15 years. First title in 1990, is it going to be his 12th in 2005, a 16 year spread? Not bad, 12 in 16 years. The question is, when didn't he win it? Not when did he? 91, Priestley. 93, low. 54. 94, Priestley. And of course, 2003, John Part, all the others. This man. It's been a fantastic week at the circus. The standard One just gets better and better as each year goes by. And so far, the final has lived up to all expectations. This would be amazing, though. Just sliding the dart away, Dub Bridges. I'm afraid he has a tendency to do. Uh, it's happened before this week. Nerves can get to a player. Um, the, one, the one aspect of this sport, Stuart, that absolutely amazes me is how these lads really do keep control of their nerves. Every one of them is as nervous. It's natural. It's how they control it. It really is remarkable. And at the moment, Dudbridge is having some difficulty in doing that. Well, this would settle the nerves. 140. Brilliant first dart. Oh, a lucky jump deflected out of the, the barrel of the first dart. Yeah, if, if he'd been at his best, it, he'd have lined it up alongside anyway in the in the space that was uh, available. Uh, Taylor now winning that leg is now one more away from a two-set cushion. Well, now we're going to have to see what Mark Dubridge has got left in the tank in this world final. Ah, oh, well, fantastic scoring from Dubridge. His average is slowly edging up, 89 and a half now. It's to be seven or eight points more than that by the end of the match if he's going to win it. You see, the remarkable thing about Dudbridge is that he's hit 11 180s, but eight of them, eight of them, a heck of a high proportion, have been in a losing leg. Amazing that, you know. Another one will be very handy here for Dudbridge. Well, 
not too much between them. Taylor, six points on the averages, but the consistent scoring over the 100 mark wow. is the reason why Taylor is in front. And that's the one shot that's really let Dubridge down tonight. He, he hasn't been as accurate as lethal on, on the cover down on 19s. Taylor's been brilliant. Yes, he has, and uh, one of the great cover shot players anyway. The greatest I've seen was Rod Harrington in his prime. Hit that treble 19 just about every time he went for it. And Taylor's never far away either. 65. Well, he's left himself a hundred, and Taylor can't check out here. So, all credit to Dodbridge. It's the next leg. Should he win this one, that will be problematical for him because uh, he'll win it against the throw. So, a hundred then for Mark Dodbridge, and we're getting to the stage of the match now when these are the chances the young man from Bristol has to take. Tops then. Brilliant, what dart, John? You put one finger up. You sensed that that dart was going in. You are spot on, my friend. Yes, I put the finger there because I wanted it to go in because I want this great game to go on and on and on. I know Phil Taylor doesn't, but I think Dudbridge deserves it. Now then, as I say, this is the one where Taylor sometimes turns the screw. Deciding leg. In the second set, he kicks off with a 177, follows up with a 180. We assume that the, the, the leg is over and that he's won the set. We assume wrongly. This man pulled out a 1-2-1 finish on the ball, later battered by a 1-6-1 on the ball from Taylor as well. Wonderful fair. Great highlights and the low lights are not bad either. A day of darting drama here at the Circus Tavern. Well, Taylor there was supreme on the trebles, and Dubridge really does have to find his range here because needs this. Well, I just get the feeling Dubridge needed a 140, a 180, one of those magical maximums that. Uh, He's produced so often tonight to stay in touch. And Taylor is seemingly on his way to a two-set cushion for the first time in this final. Yes, went one up, one one, two one down. That fourth set was crucial. And Dudbridge had darts to win it. Failed. And whilst he's hung on in there since, how different it might have been. So, Taylor, 128, now 168. He'll go for the same again. And now go for double four, like shelling peas. Thank you very much. Five sets to three. Dutbridge looks stunned. No wonder. Here's Philip Taylor going to keep his date with darting destiny and a 12th world title for the first time in the 2005 final. The power has a two set cushion. He needs just two more sets to write more history in the world of darts. Or can this man produce a stunning fight back and keep us going? to another deciding set. Not a bad start in a set that Dubridge has to win! A dozen maximums now for Dubridge. Yes, a worthy dozen too, and there could be one from Taylor in reply. It may only be his sixth, but it was a beauty. In reply, 
We've now had seven consecutive trebles in this leg. Now, Taylor can turn the screw here. Lovely first dart. Beautiful second dart. Almost a perfect third, but that's turning the screw. Already ahead. Lord Dubridge has to concentrate on now. He's winning his throw in this set. I can't see Dubridge coming back from 6-3 down if he can just stay alive in this ninth set. Peg another one back to 5-4. You just never, never know. But at 6-3 against the best player that's ever lived, it's a huge task. Has to hold his throw. No better time to start now. Needed the treble. Leaves him a tricky 91 if he gets a chance at it. So here you go, treble 18. How did I know? Double 16. How did I know? Because that is Philip Taylor at his best. An 11 data. His opponent kicks off with a 180. And Taylor is better than anybody at doing that. That's what Sid calls bullying, and bullying it is. 11 high voltage darts from Phil Taylor. And that is the Taylor that could possibly sense another victory and another world title. Dudbridge started that leg with 180. Taylor finished it in just 11 Six, darts. Eight. Top quality tungsten from Taylor. And I would suggest, Stuart, that uh, 12 180s hit by Dudbridge, nine of them now in losing legs, just tells a little story. When you hit a 180 against Taylor, watch out. He doesn't like it. It brings the very best out of him. Well, Dubridge, we remember back in Blackpool in the final of the World Match Play in July, kept up with Taylor for the first half of the match. I think he trailed 8-7 at one stage, and then we saw that characteristic power surge and Taylor raced to victory. Well, three all, Dubridge surely thought he still had a chance. 6-3 down. If he loses this set, and you just wonder, from the body language now of Dubridge, the shake of the head, again, poor cover on the 19s, whether he knows and Taylor knows. Well, what happens, you hit Taylor hard so many times, and he fails to fall. And instead he hits you even harder in return. And there comes a time when you cry, enough is enough. I'm not suggesting that Dudbridge has reached that stage yet. But many have in history as he puts in maximum number 13. Too little, too late. Is it going to be another maximum in a leg that he loses? Nine for Taylor. Two 16s for another hammer blow for Dubridge. Just a matter of interest, Taylor's been watching Anderson. I normally see Taylor go for 66 with the bull double eight. Anderson's done it effectively this week, twice in one game in successive legs, in fact. 54. Well, Taylor now averaging over 97, and he has moved inexorably through the gears once again in this final. There is another big leg for Philip Taylor. And there is another big blow for Mark Dunbridge. Yes, 13 180s, a wonderful performance. Let's not. Uh, Take anything away from that, but Fulty. Taylor has replied on ten occasions by winning that particular leg. That's a phenomenal statistic. 
Well, John Taylor has won eight out of the last ten legs. That's the familiar power surge, and in that time, Dubbridge has thrown five maximums. And all those maximums have been thrown in legs that he's lost. Aye, right from the far north they've come down here to see the power. And my, my, they're seeing a good show. Desperate times now for Dubridge. They require desperate measures. He needs to reach the dizzy heights of his performance against John Part in his second match. 45. The power's never really been above a ton tonight, average-wise. But I don't think Flash has been made to look like a clown. I like to agree with the placards, but on that occasion... No. As sick as it may be, there are no clowns here. You've seen one or two walk the tightrope, Stuart. Experience seems to be telling here. It was always going to be a very important factor in this final. Um, Dubbridge has played really, really well against Taylor. Of that, there is little doubt. But when the chips are down, Taylor somehow, from somewhere, pulls out something very special. Yes. Assault. You might call it, when the chips are down, a salt and vinegar's just what it needs, but there we have the bridge hitting back. Not done with yet. Although, that is on his own throw, and now he has to break to keep this set alive. There's our own Helen Chamberlain. Loves the darts, as we do too. This packed house here at the Circus Tavern. And that is what Dunbridge now needs. Pressure on Philip Taylor. He's got to break the Taylor throw. Aye, ah, Helen's got a smile, despite the fact that Torquay took a donking today. Port Vale won, though, that pleased Taylor no end. Now, Andy Goldstein he presents uh, the Soccer AM All Sports Show with Helen. Yes, we've got presenters. We've got the chef, Marco Pierre White, and we've even savoured specially made steak and kidney pies, believe you me. Succulent. In the press room, they're licking their lips at this match, as well as the yeah, a tasty tungsten treat at the Circus Tavern. And Dubridge refusing to lie down against Taylor, but with darts like that, Taylor now is a big favourite to go within just one set of another World Championship crown. Yes, you used the word not so long ago, inexorably, and uh, it would seem so. Little, really, that Dudbridge can do about it, but he won't throw the towel in. He will fling the flights, aim the arrows, and hope that somehow he can get back in this match. So, Phil Taylor... ...for yet another... ...set. On his way to yet another world title. Two 16s for the power. Well, we see Dubridge at 121. I think John, if he's going to stay in contention in this final, he just has to get this. Couldn't agree with you more. He's got the first dart. <laughs> Put one in with that. 
Oh, yes, double 12, big, big dark, could be a set winner. Yes, 144, gross indecency as far as Taylor's concerned. That was a gross that's worth a lot, lot more to Dunbridge. What a finish when he needed it. The hallmark of a champion, the hallmark of a world champion. Will it be tonight or will it be in the future? He's done the hard part. He can't afford to follow up with poor darts like that. It's amazing. Takes out 144, acknowledges the wonderful, wonderful applause from this crowd. And then can't find a treble next time up, but it hasn't mattered yet because Taylor too, a touch wayward. For me, John, the most important leg in Mark Dubridge's darting career. Well, I ain't gonna disagree with that because if he wins this one, my my, he'll be back. In the match, he's got to break Taylor next set, but uh, he'll be happy just to be one set behind. But let's not talk about such things while the power plays. Absolutely amazing. You're watching something very, very special, folks. And he has reason to smile. Well, he may have reason to smile as well. What a response! What a response from Dubridge! Quite sensational at the World Final. Just picking off the trebles like damsons in September. Beautiful to behold and very tasty too. 144, 121, he's checked out in this set. He ain't going to do 136. 70, 71 left, he'll probably go treble 13 here. Even so, to settle for that after the first start, Stuart. 84 for Taylor, 65 Dudbridge. Dudbridge took out a 144 to stay in the set. Taylor wanted the same double 12 to win it. No problem, and that's what it means to the power. He won that with absolute brilliance. They say every picture tells a story. Phil Taylor hit two 11 darters, and they were both in that crucial ninth set in the first leg, and then to win it after Dubridge has got himself back into the game. And those two 11 darters have surely set up a 12th world title. Yeah, 16 of his 24 winning legs in uh, 15 darts are under. And Mardell's, uh, Mark Dudbridge's uh, finishes there. Uh, not unimpressive, but Taylor, as we've said so many times before, just is so masterful. And he hasn't, they're just asking for the board to be changed. I think that is what is going to happen here. So perhaps just, and there's the reason why, Stuart. Look at that, it's taken a mauling, mind you. 14 180s from Dudbridge, 7 from Taylor. Uh, there are 21, 63 times the dart's gone into the treble 20 off those alone. Now let's just look at these. 24 winning doubles for Taylor, 17 for Dudbridge. If this were match play, that would be the score in legs. But Taylor's average of 97.3 
He's remained consistently throughout the game between 98 at its height and 95 at its uh, nadir, if that's the word I can use for such an average. Well, his first World Championship final, Mark Dubridge has given Phil Taylor a real run for his money. There's been several pivotal points for me, certainly in the fourth set when Dubridge missed a dart at double top for a 3-1 lead. And for me, that was the one dart and the one leg that has possibly changed the course of this match. It's 6-3 to Taylor. It could easily be 5-4 either way. Nice to see them there, just uh, clinking glasses. I think probably privately Dudbridge has given this one up, but look at that. Taylor is inspired at the moment, Stuart. We have said that over his last two or three games, he's not been his uh, beeriestic best, but really he has produced it when he's really needed to. Two 11 darters in that set tells it all. And if anyone doubted, if Taylor still had the hunger, the passion, the burning desire, there was your answer. And in this set, he could win it again. Well, perhaps not his imperious best, <laughs> but at his ballistic best of that, no doubt, in that last set. Anyway, board suitably changed. The surround put on very accurately indeed. We'll be getting underway with what might be the final set of the match. Well, because of the change of board, each player will will get nine darts just to warm up, just to get used to the new board. They've been on stage two and a half hours here at the Circus Tavern. It's been a thrilling final, it hasn't quite reached the heights of the last two years, but we've had our fair dose of darting drama, and Dudbridge has played a big part. Yes, he has indeed. He's played a big part, and he's helped to paint a wonderful picture tonight in terms of colouring the scene with 14 maximum scores. Some magical finishes, the 1-2-1 one, one at the end of the second set, finishing on the ball. And that 144, which we thought might take him towards winning this last set we saw. Just memorable moments from him. Let's hope there are some more, Stuart, as the crowd will be ordered to settle down in a moment. And let's not forget their part in that wonderful donation of £11,400 nearly for that uh, earthquake charity. Well done, crowd, here at the Circus Tavern. With a little help, yes, but they've done it mostly themselves. So here we go, Taylor throwing for another world title. Eric Bristow, Mike Gregory, Rod Harrington, John Part, Kevin Painter, Peter Manley twice, Dennis Priestley four times. Here's Mark Dubridge about to be added to the list of casualties who've been switched off by the power at Perfleet. Verily, I think it is, but it would be nice if things were to change remarkably for that not to be so. Well, we've seen some quite amazing comebacks this week. Colin Lloyd looked um, completely out of it, coming back from 3-1 uh, down to beat Chris Mason. Mardle was 4-1 uh, down against Williams. He was behind as well against Lloyd. But I'll tell you what, if Dubridge was to come back from here, it would be the greatest comeback, surely. I reckon, I reckon you're right there, mate. I reckon you're right. And it would keep us here for a little bit longer. Yet. But nobody would argue. No, we want this to uh, to go on for a little while longer. And that there's no doubt whatsoever. Many people, many experts in the world of darts are saying that Dubridge is nailed on to win a world championship. He hoped it would be tonight. 
He's going to have to produce darts that he hasn't thrown in his entire career, if that's to be the case. But if it isn't, I'm sure that it won't be too long before he fulfills his dream. Yeah, trouble is, there's only one world championship every year. Uh, he'll win a world title of some sort. And uh, it'd be nice, obviously, if it were this particular one. Taylor looking at 12 here. Oh, he'll go for double 13. Playing the each way. 55. So, a chance, John, for Mark Dubridge to take the throw off Taylor. Two darts at double 12. He's got two at six now. Yeah. Only needed one. Well, Mark Dubridge, you can be absolutely certain, won't give this one up. Takes the throw off Taylor in the 10th set. And here he is, throwing to stay in the World Championship final once again. Yes, I'm just looking, Stuart, at where before he has taken the first leg against the throw, and only once before, it was in the sixth set, four sets ago, he took the throw off Taylor, despite the fact Taylor hit a 180. It was admittedly in 21 darts. And he actually went on to win the set 3-2 in the decider. So maybe he can do the same again here. Keep the dream alive. Well, this man's been dreaming of world titles for, uh, for over a decade. More often than, his, than not, his dreams have come true. Eleven in all, and it is quite remarkable. And amazing to think that at the start of the week, there's, there's so much talent coming through the PDC ranks. The threat to Taylor is getting ever bigger as each year passes by, but he was still 7-4 to four on before a dart had been thrown here at the Circus Tavern to win it again. There have been a few players this week who have made an impression on the week, and uh, one has to mention initially the the uh, qualifiers, uh, Yosefa Schenk from Holland and Andy Hamilton in particular, who reached the quarterfinals. What a great, great occasion it's been for them. Once again, the old master Bob Anderson reaching a semi final. And if he had been able to strike his doubles last night, as he had done earlier in the contest, then maybe he would have been on this stage tonight, Stuart, because Taylor certainly wasn't at his best last night. And I think Anderson recognised that he possibly missed a bit of an opportunity. But that's life. The bridge has missed several opportunities tonight. They have come along more regularly than Taylor would like. He's taken a few of them, but he's missed crucial darts at vital stages in the match. Well, a chance for uh, two legs to nil here. Not yet. A taxi! At one stage, people were saying a taxidermist might have been applicable. No way was this man going to be easily beaten. 96. 96 then for Taylor. Two 18s, hasn't missed this too often tonight. Doesn't miss it here. And Taylor wins the throw back from Dubridge. And Taylor needs two more legs for another world title. That's the third time in the match where Dudbridge has taken the throw of Taylor and is immediately replied in kind. The third said he did it, the fourth said he did it, and uh, there. 99! So, Dudbridge, this is your time. Yvonne Taylor, I wonder if she's already spending the £60,000 prize money. Great response from Dubridge. 
one of the rising stars in the world of darts. And he's proved tonight why he's going to be around at the very highest level for a long time to come. Yes. Still in the ascendant, I agree, a rising star, but already a star, no question about that. And a very, very popular man. He had a great opportunity to really put pressure and take the darts off Taylor. Just two points 25. behind. 25 is the sort of score will bring a smile to Taylor's face because he knows perhaps now the Dubbridge is a beaten man. Will it be in this 41. set? Oh, Taylor <laughs> sagging a little there. Would like to get this game over now and get it out of the way. He was very tired last night after his semi-final. He wouldn't want this game to be extended any longer than is necessary. One. So One of the most famous faces in British sport. There you see it. 11 times champion of the world. In a sport that is played from John O'Groats to London. Through every shire in the land, in every city. Played pubs and clubs by millions of folk and you're watching now Stuart saying wish I could do that yeah, as the PDC spreads its wings all around the world as well the Far East and beyond and Taylor with another fantastic final dart 155 Dubbridge needs to get this treble 19 Unlucky, unlucky. Maybe back, maybe back. But knowing Phil Taylor, you can never be that sure, John. No, you, you, you absolutely can't. You, you're not safe, are you? As the player waiting on 56, Taylor hurts opponents so often, and he may do so here. So for 2 1, and again to break back and get this and then win the next leg with throw. Game on again. Tops for Dubbridge then. To stay alive in the World Championship final. Well, you've got to give him credit. He's hanging on in there, refusing to buckle against the best player that's ever lived. And now Dubbridge will throw for the set. And as before, when he hit the 1-4-4, he started disappointingly, but that rescues the throw a little. But it's a case now of how this man will reply, and you just have a feeling that there might be something special coming again. You see, 137, and already he's 51 points ahead. You remember in the deciding leg of the last set, Dubridge started with a 180, and Phil Taylor picked I out an 11 dart leg to take the set. We go back to that with some buts and cuts and should. Dubridge has had his chances. Taylor has just simply taken more of them when they matter. Yes, and uh, 45. It's the professionalism in the man. Not the 45, I mean. He's capable of hitting those as, as uh, anybody else just now and again. But now, but not now and again and again. Good scoring from Dubridge. Favourite at the moment to take this set. Well, Dubridge has six darts at 194. Make a big hole in this and uh, could be up for an 11th set. Oh, to lead 54. And then he throws first in the next set, you know, uh, Stuart.
So Mark Dubridge, who has been quite brilliant in his first World Championship final, to keep it going for at least another set. Tops. Well, as we said before, will he be back? We asked the question. He was. Taylor couldn't take out 140 then. He's got 153 to take out now. And uh, don't back against him. Can't do it now. He'll stack this one into the treble. Or oh, has he gone in? 113 left, I think. Double ten for Dubbridge. is still very much alive. The crowd realise it. Dubbridge realises it. Taylor realises it. And Mark Dubbridge is throwing first in the 11th leg. But what a scrapper. What a talent. And what a final it's been. Well, I'm taking a deep breath, Stuart, uh, because... And if you've just switched over from the football, you are joining us in a remarkable World Championship final here at Perfleet, where Phil Taylor is leading Mark Dudbridge by six sets to four, wants one more for his 12th title, but Mark Dudbridge is not making it easy for him. Taylor won the first set, Marvel the second, Model the third, led to one. Well, Dubridge, after that, had a dart to make it 3-1. Missed it, and then Taylor got into action, and we saw him open up a lead of 5-3, then 6-3. But Dubridge, there he is, a huge talent. He's um, still Stuart. very much alive, John. He throws first in this set. If he throws in this set, as he has thrown in the last two, then he has every chance of winning it and taking us into the 12th and possibly into the 13th. He is still one break of throw in arrears. Obviously, he's got to hold his throw here and then immediately break Taylor as well. So, Dubbridge with the throw, needs a ton 40 to get going. Yes, come on, Flash. <laughs> if I said Martel, I do apologise, Mr Dubbridge. I... Can he carry it away? In the... Excitement of this wonderful match. Well, Dubbridge, of course, winning a fantastic semi final against Wayne Mardell. Now involved in a gripping final of the 2005 Labrooks.com World Championships. And he will not give this one up. Are we going to see the familiar surge from the power? Or are we going to get a flash of inspiration from Dubbridge? <laughs> he raced for that, didn't get there in time. You know, he's got time for a smile, a bit of humour, nice to see. It's only the, the bad bits that get in the newspapers. And I'm not sure they're as bad as what the newspapers make out, or indeed others wish to make out. C'est la vie. Taylor hasn't been at his punishing best in this leg. Dubridge desperate to hold on to his throw at the start of this 11th set. First to seven wins the biggest prize in the world of darts, the World Championship, and the biggest prize money ever offered as well, £60,000. But money won't be on the minds of Mr Dubridge and Mr Taylor. Yes, not often get away from uh, Yvonne Taylor. But uh, as was said earlier in the commentary box here, Sid, uh, Sid I think it was, or Dave, uh, 
How remarkably cool she seems to keep. Well, he's been pretty cool under pressure all week. And he has given us a terrific final. Do you require 157? Well, if anyone can, Taylor can. But if anyone must, then Dudbridge must take out 96. Because he threw first in this leg. Incumbent on him then, in his own hands, to finish it as well. Now that is a disappointing dart. He's now got to somehow pick out the treble 19 and double 19 in order to rescue matters. Well, that's a tremendous dart. Double 19! But a wonderful recovery it would have been, but to break the throw. Tops coming in for Taylor. Tops coming in for Taylor. He breaks the throw. And now is once again two legs away for the world title. Yeah, Tops coming in and Tops going in. That's how he likes it. A gripping game, darts. It's a statement of the obvious. But you know what I mean. This is a gripping contest. Dubbridge has hit 14 180s. He needs another couple in this leg, and he thinks if he's going to stay in this final. Yes, that's right. The remarkable thing. Guilty of repetition, I know, but 14 180s, and 11 of them have been in losing legs. I don't think that will happen again. Can't see that happening again. You would expect to win at least half of the legs in which you've hit a 180, especially those where... He had a, have advantage of throw. Red bit would be handy here. Very handy indeed. Well, you've got to admire the way that Dubbridge just refuses to lose, basically. He still believes. And I'll tell you what, if he can somehow rescue this set, John, he will very much believe. Well, if he, got, if he rescues this set from here, I think he will bounce off the stage really and truly, yes, believing that he can go on to win it. And the seeds of doubt might just begin to be sown in Taylor's mind. But Dubbridge's actions have to speak louder than our words. As Taylor. It's the treble five, that's not happened too often tonight. 95. To leave 109, so this one's 6-4. And uh, expect has to be taken by Dudbridge. Now needs treble 18. Oh, unlucky, would have required the ball. Well, that's a lovely dart to lead 32, Stuart. And now the same applies to Taylor. 19s has to get it. Dudbridge, with that brilliant last throw, now has an opportunity to break the Taylor throw. Yes, and uh, that is a massive, massive leg for Dudbridge, having been broken in the first, he then comes back with a 13 data to rescue matters, and he's throwing first here. Can he, for once, put a decent score in with his first visit? 96. Taylor has been given a real run for his money. But when he needs it, he One sometimes finds it. More often than not, he finds it. But he is under pressure. 
I said earlier in the week, uh, Stuart, uh, that great players find their best in adversity. And I was referring to Taylor at the time, I think, and uh, certainly did on that occasion. And uh, he did, I would suggest, throw his best darts of this match a couple of three sets ago when uh, Dudbridge was hitting 180s for fun and Taylor was replying in kind. Well, John, this has been Dudbridge's problem for me throughout the game, or, or, or one of them, that he, he throws a magnificent leg to take the darts off Taylor and then just can't simply follow it up when he's throwing. Well, to summarise that, Stuart, uh, his problem is that man, Taylor. <laughs> and anybody who plays him knows that. Well, Dudbridge has upped his average to nearly 91. Taylor is averaging 96. We've seen 21 maximums in another magnificent 60. World Championship final at the Circus Tavern. And it again proves that when Taylor is not averaging the three figures that he did in the opening two rounds of uh, uh, two rounds that he played in of this contest, then he is beatable, or at least pushing to the limit. Well, so often Taylor has no limit. Again. That cover has been brilliant, brilliant from Taylor tonight. 106 for Dubbridge. Has to get it. Well, needed the treble 18. 58. So he's left 48. So we're, as we were in the previous leg, Taylor on that occasion couldn't take out 109, and Dudbridge stepped up and finished the leg off. Now Taylor's. Presented with 104, needs the treble 20 for double. 12, and maybe this is going in this time. Yes, yes is the answer, and uh, Dudbridge might have expected a pot at 48. It wasn't to be, and the power is throwing first, and maybe throwing the last darts of a memorable nine days in Essex. What a performance we've seen from Mark Dubridge. What a performance yet again we've seen from Philip Taylor. These guys have been up on the biggest stage in world darts for nearly three hours. Brilliant entertainment. Is this going to be the last leg of the 2005 World Championships? No, if Dudbridge can punish a disappointing start from the power already level. Now 60 ahead. Oh, a 180 there would have been something special. Not only because it would have been his 15th, but it would have given him a real lead in this leg. Whatever happens here, he is only 60 points ahead, as he was before. So another 140 from Dudbridge necessary. Over pitched. Off line. Off target. It looks as though Philip Taylor is going to rewrite darting history yet again. Well, I've been on the premises at each of his 11 previous championships. Against Bristow in 1990, Gregory in 92, and you've gone through all the others, Stuart, in your list there. And is it, as you suggested, going to be Dudbridge's turn tonight? Dudbridge not on a finish, only 22 points ahead of the power, who will now surely home in on that final finish. Once a treble, though, and finds it. 
179 Dutbridge got to make a big, big hole in this. Hundred and forty, the minimum ask. Ninety-nine. Well, will that be enough? Is Philip Taylor about to win another world title? Twelve. Two sixteens for Taylor. Brilliant! It's the dream dozen for the greatest ever player in the history of this sport as the power lights up Perth Leeds with a 12th world title.